this particular post, courtesy of Colin Rook and courtesy of the Joe Rogan podcast, really bummed me out. Because for me, when I think of fuck you money, my wanting of fuck you money is mostly so people can stop telling me what to do. I kind of want to live my own life, do what the fuck I want to do, when I want to do it, with no one telling me what I should do, where I should go, if I can go to the toilet, if I'm allowed to go on holiday or not, blah de blah blah blah. I kind of want to be the master of my own ship, the driver of my own destiny, and kind of move to the beat of my own drum. So you look at someone like a Joe Rogan, you think yourself, oh, that's an amazing example of what fuck your money can do, because essentially, and this is not meant in any disrespect, but he's essentially been able to be so successful in one division, in one area, especially when it comes to podcasting, that he's now a very, a, a, a given himself a career as a stand-up comedian, even though he's not good at it. He's kind of given himself a career. He's given himself the license and the permission to have a career as a stand-up comedian because he's so good at podcasting and he's so famous and he has so much money that he could take chances on that stand-up. And even if people don't turn up, he doesn't matter because he does it through pure love of just wanting to do the thing himself which is the which is the way that everyone should probably want to live in life right to get to that kind of point but it's sad to see that even on rogan's level even at that level of fuck you money he still kind of has a boss and his boss unfortunately for him are maga people maga people were up in arms when rogan randomly decided to not so publicly endorse rfk jr in a very, I thought, mild-mannered, milk-toast, middle-of-the-road type of way. It wasn't even that crazy of an endorsement. It was more so of like, yeah, for the people I see available now, at the moment, the person who I would probably back is RFK for whatever reasons that he stipulated in this particular video. And because of this video, he had to walk back the entire point because I guess the MAGA people, the Trumpers, thought he was one of them, but then he decided to pull the okie doke and say, I like RFK Jr., and they shamed him so much, he had to apologize for saying something that I thought was fairly innocent. That's just what they do. That's politics. They do it on the left. They do it on the right. They gaslight you. They manipulate you. They, they promote narratives. And um, the only one who's not doing that is Robert F. Kennedy Jr. You a fan? Yeah, I am a fan. Yeah, he's the only one that makes sense to me. He's the only one that he doesn't attack people. He attacks um, actions and ideas. But he's... Um, He's much more reasonable and intelligent. I mean, the guy was an environmental attorney and cleaned up the East River. I mean, he's he's a legitimate guy. You know, before anybody started calling him an anti-vaxxer, which I thought he was, too. I thought he was this nut, this, like, conspiracy theorist nut, until I read his book. I read The Real Anthony Fauci, and I'm like, what is... It? How much of this is real? Because if it's all real... This is fucking insane, and we live in a world where we're being manipulated by these health organizations that are being paid by the pharmaceutical drug interests. And these pharmaceutical drug companies are pumping these products out into the population and telling us that we need them and then making insane amounts of money. And then also the government is in on it, and also they share a patent with Moderna, and also – they they share profits and there's seven hundred million dollars seven hundred I mean however however much money was made whatever the the number is that these guys made off of these products like this is all of it is fucking crazy and obviously he made that point but because of that random point that he made about RFK Jr. Rod Rogan had to then walk back the entire comment with this following tweet on his account for the record this isn't an endorsement. This is me saying that I like RFK as a person and I really appreciate the way that he discusses things with civility and intelligence. I think we could use more of that in this world. I also think Trump raising his fist and saying fight after getting shot is one of the most American fucking things of all time. I'm not the guy to get political information from. If you want that from a comic, go to Comic Dave Smith if he actually knows what he's talking about. Now, the funny thing about this is that Rogan is still vehemently and pretty hopelessly trying to convince people that although he has the most popular podcast out there, although he's the most popular media figure out there, probably in the world, that he's just a rinky-dink, independent guy, choking out of his ass, shooting the shit, having fun in his bedroom, hanging out. Don't take what I said seriously. Unfortunately, that ship has now sailed. There's no possible way that you can be as big as Rogan is and not have people take what you say seriously. It's just not going to happen. 
especially because his podcast isn't even like a conventional like comedy podcast really obviously when comedians get on there they have a laugh and a joke but rogan is notorious for not letting people fuck around his pod he takes podcasting seriously so i always find it funny whenever he says something that people don't agree with in polit in like society or politics way and he always runs back to the i'm just a comedian i'm just a comedian don't take myself seriously it's like bro you've got a serious platform you take it seriously people take what you say seriously what you should do is just not give a fuck about what they say but it's unfortunate to see that even a guy like him who's made nearly a half a billion from podcasting which i feel like should be all the evidence you need that you're obviously doing something right you've made half a billion doing something that a lot of people do but you're the only one that's made that kind of money obviously you're doing something right you should be okay with people disagreeing with you very vocally very steadfastly very aggressively and very loudly you should be okay with people disagreeing with you calling you an idiot saying you don't know what you're talking about because you still got that platform you can still say what the fuck you want they can say what they want but you can just ignore it and keep it moving but it's sad to see that even Ro Rogan's got fuck you money, he's still beholden by his quote unquote bosses, whether it's Spotify, whether it's the MAGA people, whether it's the Trumpers, whether it's the right wing people in general, whoever it is, he's got some sort of boss and he still feels a need to appease and remind people that he's not a politician, his platform isn't that serious, I'm just laughing and joking and if you want to listen to a comedian who knows about politics, listen to this guy. Which is a sad way to end that statement. Because really and truly, you should be encouraging your listeners not to listen to any comedians when it comes to politics. They should be trying to engage with people who are actually into politics properly. That's like their full-time thing. They should be maybe a little bit more active in their local politics. They should maybe be more taking more charge in that sort of things. Maybe doing their own research as opposed to going to a comedian to get their kind of worldview from and to get their understanding of policies from or just the current day politics and etc. That's not the way it want to go. But for me, I just saw that. I was like, that broke my heart because it was almost cowardly of Rogan to do that. Almost cowardly of him to kind of sit there and be like, hey, um, I'm not that guy. Please, guys, don't cancel me. I know I said the road. I know I said the wrong thing, but I promise I won't say that again. I promise. Now, a lot of that has to do with him basically twerking for the right wingers, right? He's been twerking a lot for the Trumpers and all those type of guys. And I feel like those dudes probably are just as bad as the Democrats when you don't kind of, you know, abide by the party line, when you don't say the things the way that they want them to be said, they're going to throw you to the wolves. So maybe he's kind of paying that price for sort of like flirting with those guys and then thinking he could just be like independent thinker and say what he wants when really they kind of want you to toe the party line and kind of agree with everything Trump says agree with all their talking points and kind of go through there and he's obviously being reminded that's not the case and i do like as a kind of way to end this point i do like how he was publicly embarrassed and chastised and called out in the best possible way during the recent episode of kill tony at madison square garden shane gill is doing i think one of the best impression of trump out there now the thing about shane gill is trump it might not be the best sounding trump you've ever heard but i feel like the breaths the cadence the vocabulary like even though the accent even though the voice isn't entirely spot on i feel like the way that he pauses the little mannerisms um everything about it i feel like shane gillis might have the best trump impression out there i swear to god in the same way that i feel like tim Dillon, even though he sounds nothing like joe rogan he has the best joe rogan impression weed man you know that kind of shit that he does right Tim Dillon. i feel like he has the best so i feel like impressions aren't necessarily about you sounding exactly like the person but almost sort of like you know emitting their aura and their vibe so listen to shane gillis um after all that walk back from joe rogan on a recent episode of kill tony absolutely eviscerate joe rogan and rogan not knowing kind of what to do when he comes out on stage absolutely brilliant big up shane gillis i think it's obvious new york is probably the best and I will say this. The reason I'm saying this is we don't have absolute cowards like little Joe Rogan telling us what to do. Right <laughs> little Joe, he Brilliant. came in and he said he wants to endorse <laughs> RFK Jr. Can you believe this? 
Joe Rogan is an absolute joke and a complete <laughs> pussy. And if I ever saw him, I would whoop his bitch ass. <laughs> what a coward. Joe Rogan, complete coward. Right. And it's, frankly, he's an embarrassment to this country. He used to be such a powerful guy. And of course, Rogan then comes out. <laughs> And look how awkwardly Rogan just stands there. I don't know if this is part of the bit, but it's very awkward. Like, Shane obviously roasts him and kind of goes in on him. And then um, Rogan just awkwardly kind of stands there and just doesn't know what to do. I don't know if that's because he doesn't have comedic chops. He's, you know, whatever. He doesn't know how to riff and to razz as well on the spot. Or he was just kind of caught off guard. But he just kind of awkwardly stands there while Shane kind of does his bit. It's very strange. <laughs> I love the flip because this kind of reminds me of the flip that e uh, Trump did with Elon Musk in real time before he called Elon Musk a bit of an idiot he didn't know what he's doing and then as soon as Elon endorsed him testers are amazing electric is the way to go forward Elon is American hero blah 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 blah, blah. I loved it like Trump does that a lot as soon as you kind of you know quid pro he's a quid quid quo pro type of guy you give him something, he's going to give you something. You give him a middle finger, he's going to give you two middle fingers. True patriot, great man. I would never say anything negative about this man. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. What a guy. Everybody agrees this is one of the best guys. We talk about, we say Austin. Austin, Texas is great. Joe Rogan is great. Frankly, <laughs> Joe Rogan is the best, and everyone knows it. And I love RFK. Who doesn't love RFK? He's a great guy. <laughs> Honestly, that's fucking brilliant. But I am absolutely bummed, absolutely bummed, 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 bummed that nowadays... Even if, we have, if you have F you money, you still have a boss. Even if you have F you money, you still have a blood clot boss.